and welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking about all things cozy, daily rituals, things that make us feel good, the little things that make a huge difference. And I know it's weird, but <laughs> I just have to tell you about this. Now for me, breakfast is my favorite time of the day. I love breakfast time. I take forever. I'm very slow. I really think about what I'm doing. I take my dog out first thing in the morning, I get up, put my leggings on, and I take my dog straight out. Go for a walk, come back, I make his breakfast, and then he goes and has a snooze on the sofa. And then it's just like, ah, oh, it's my time to make my breakfast and enjoy it. I put on a bit of Lorraine, you know, a bit of this morning, and I, I make my breakfast. Now, as you've seen in the beginning, what my breakfast is, is porridge. I love my porridge in the morning. I cannot go a day, okay, I can go one day without porridge, but then I am, I'm craving it. It's the thing that fills me up, I enjoy it. When I'm on my walk, I think to myself, oh, I can't wait till I get home so I can make my porridge. Now, here's the thing. The best way to make anything and to make porridge is, not in a microwave, in a porridge pot. Now. A lot of you might think, I haven't got time for this. You, it, it doesn't take, it takes the same amount of time as if you were to put it in the microwave. Now, putting my porridge in the microwave doesn't give me cozy vibes, okay? Cooking my porridge in a little pot like this gives me, I can't describe to you the ultimate joy I get making my porridge every morning. It's just, it's just something I love, love to do. Now, along with your porridge pot, this is essential. You need a wooden spoon. Do not, under any circumstance, think about using a metal spoon. Do not. Not only are you gonna scratch your bowl, your pan, but it just doesn't have the same effect. Now, when you use a wooden spoon, the sound is really softening and comforting. I like very, very low sound in the morning. I like my TV low, I like it quiet. I don't want a bashing metal spoon going ding, dang, dong. This is soft, doesn't scratch the bowl. It makes a nice sound when you stir your porridge. I, I'm all about the aesthetics, the sound, the feelings of things. And because the morning is a sacred time for me, I don't like to just bung my porridge in the microwave and I'm done. Some people, for them, breakfast is a means to an end. They need to eat breakfast and get on with it. Some people don't have breakfast, goodness gracious. Um, I am one of those people that wake up starving hungry and I just can't wait to eat my porridge. So for me, it's just a whole ritual. I just, it's like rainy days. I love a rainy day. Everyone's complaining because it's been raining for the last two weeks. Yes, it's sopping on the dog walk, but I love a rainy day. It just calms me. I feel calm and serene. I'm never agitated or stressed on a rainy day. So for me, that's kind of part of it. The gloominess, I don't know. I just, it's, it's something that I love. I can't explain why. I feel when it's sunny, I feel like I'm overheating and I've got to do things and I've got to get out and, you know, it makes me see like all the dust, <laughs> although you clean all the time. And I, with sunshine, I like, you know, cold sunshine, like frost and sun. I like it when it's cold and sunny. I'm really weird, I know. Okay, so porridge in a pot, it takes the same amount of time, if not less, in the microwave, and it just feels so much better. Trust me, it feels so much better, and it needs to be in a small pot, okay? Now, the porridge of choice, I use this ultimate, hearty and rich, ultra thick porridge oats. Now it has a pan on the front and it specifically says on here, do not microwave. <laughs> so these are gorgeous thick oats. You get this lovely creamy porridge as you've seen. I make mine with water. I just always have. I don't know why, but I've always made my porridge with water and that's just how I like it. I make my cup of tea, I put my berries on, I love my fresh berries, maybe some chia seeds, some pumpkin seeds. Now this, my porridge is not complete without peanut butter. Now, before I go on to this amazing thing, 
I'm obsessed with peanut butter. I love peanut butter. Anything that's peanut butter flavor, I want it. Peanut butter ice cream, peanut butter cookies, peanut butter cake, peanut butter brownie. I'm obsessed. I cannot have porridge without it. It's just, it's a no. Now, I recently came across this. This is the Whole Earth Grizzler Golden Roasted Peanut Butter. It's a squeezy peanut butter. And as you've seen on my porridge, it gives the perfect amount of peanut butter. Instead of just putting a blob on top of your porridge, this evens it out so you get a nice even flow of peanut butter. Who's coming downstairs now? And the other thing about this is, it's golden roasted, so it's got a bit of a sweetness to it as well. It's the, the most amazing peanut butter. So you turn it this way, and then you squeeze it over your porridge. And it gives you that, again, a nice aesthetic, because it's not a big blob of peanut butter, an even coverage, so you're not just getting peanut butter here and there. And it's got a lovely, lovely flavor. And I was watching something the other day, and they were putting it in their coffee, now that's weird, isn't it? Okay, I, I don't think I'd put it in my coffee. I think that's just a step too far. But I only use this on my porridge. I don't use this on anything else. I'll use a different peanut butter for different things, for crumpets and things like that. That's another thing, crumpets, pure comfort. Crumpets and a cup of tea, your life is sorted, I'm telling you. But this on my porridge is just the most delicious, wonderful, amazing thing that I've ever had. And I, and I just... I just love it. I put honey on as well. I put a bit of cinnamon. And I, oh, I forgot one more thing. The bowl. The bowl is also very, now, just like having a mug of tea or coffee, the cup is very important to me. I have a specific mug for my tea, for my coffee. It has to make me feel, you know, a certain way. Again, it's the same with my porridge. You can't just put porridge in any old bowl. Get yourself a special porridge bowl. Now, we recently picked these up in Sainsbury's. They're by Habitat. And the bowl looks like this. This, to me, is just the most... <laughs> I'm so weird. <laughs> the most beautiful bowl. It's that kind of stoneware. It's grey. You know I love grey. But it's aesthetically pleasing is what I want to say your porridge just looks if you as you've seen it just looks divine in this you can't eat your porridge in <laughs> I mean you can eat it however you like but I'm telling you it's so much better with the right bowl so the depth of this is, too, is, is perfect it's not too high it's not too low it's not like a you know tall cereal bowl it's the right kind of length and depth so you get a really nice a really nice spread of porridge in there and it just looks lovely and it's lovely to hold in your hand and it just you know I sit and I ponder and look out the window and I uh, you know check Instagram and and I eat my porridge and I will probably take about half an hour to eat my porridge I don't just sit there and guzzle it down I know if you haven't got time and stuff like that that's a different story but I I like to just savour my breakfast. I don't want to just eat it in one go and then it's gone. I want to take my time. I like to just take about half an hour to eat my breakfast, drink my tea, because it's not that I'm tired in the morning. I just like a slow morning. I don't know how to describe it. I need to be eased into my day. I cannot be rushed, rushed around. I'm not that kind of person that wakes up and has to rush around and do stuff and go here and go there. I have to have my breakfast before anything else. Otherwise, I just cannot cope. It just, it just, I'll be in a terrible mood. I've got to have that first before anything. You know, some people just get up straight away and they're like, right, you know, whatever it is they're going to do. And I'm like, um, no, I need to sit down and have my breakfast. Then I can do things. So yeah, the bowl, very important. Love this. So that's my breakfast. That's my porridge. That's my breakfast ritual. The other thing I find very comforting, and I've told you this before, is making a cup of coffee. It's 11 o'clock, getting your coffee ready. Don't just get the instant out and boil the kettle. And I, for me, okay, if you haven't got a coffee machine, it's, it's, get yourself a coffee machine. You can get subscriptions now. And it's just, the kettle for me is for tea. I, it, can, it doesn't work for coffee. You know, okay, if you're doing filtered coffee, maybe, yeah. Um, but for me, I like my Nespresso machine and my frother and I like to pick my cup and I like to okay it's time for my coffee and I'll um oh did I bring my other cup down 
I keep forgetting the things I'm using and oh. I like to take my time and enjoy my coffee. Now, I've spoken about this cup before, it's the Yeti. This keeps my coffee hot for half an hour, if not longer. So I don't then just have to go, oh, my coffee's getting cold, <sniffs> drinking all down. Again, I don't wanna be rushed drinking my coffee. I will take half an hour to drink a coffee. This will keep it hot and the lid on it's lovely as well. And you can just, and then this way I just take little sips. You know, I'll sit down, check my emails, listen to a podcast, sip my coffee, listen to Radio 4 um, or BBC London Radio, just something in the background. That, because after breakfast I turn the TV off and it's kind of like I'm doing some work and I want to just listen to a podcast, you know. That's very soothing to me, very quieting. And just having that cup of coffee while you're doing your work, it's just bliss, utter bliss. So if you haven't got one of these, highly recommend. If you're one of those people who forget about your coffee and you're like, oh, it's cold now. Or you're like me that likes your coffee like a volcano because it's never hot enough for me. So this is just lovely. Now, what else did I want to mention? Yeah, I told you about the rain, things that make you little, yeah, little things that you enjoy, like looking forward to things, like rewarding yourself, little rewards. That's another thing I do. So, you know, I'll, I'll have to do an errand. I'll say, okay, but after that, I can have a croissant and a coffee or oh, after that, I can do that. Or in my afternoon walk, I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to get home, have a cup of tea and a crumpet, you know? So like little things, I like to reward myself with little things. Does that make sense? Um, the other thing is watching things that you enjoy, like a show in the afternoon or, you know, whenever you can, just things that, that you quite like or reading. And the other thing I wanted to mention was, um, obviously YouTubers, because a lot of YouTubers, you feel quite relaxed watching. I watch a lot of podcast YouTubers that just chat. I just love chat. It's just, that's my favorite thing. Chat, chat, chat. But over Christmas, I was watching... Zoe Sugg, I know she was huge, she's still huge, but I never watched her back in the day when she was in her sort of doing makeup videos. But she did Vlogmas and oh my goodness, she just, she just, I think she did this for everybody. She just brought so much comfort to everyone. Just watching her is so lovely and relaxed and she's the only person on YouTube, one of the only people on YouTube who hasn't, who's not like everybody else. She's not living in a beige house. She's not dressed head to toe in beige. You know, she's colour, she's bright, she's modern, she's in Brighton, you know, she's herself. And this is the other thing. She is so authentic and herself. She's not got, you know, lip fillers and she's not doing all this gym wear and everything's tight and, you know, she's not got all the, you know, neutrals, all this neutral stuff, you know. She's just herself. She does her makeup the way she likes to do. I don't know. There's just something about her. I, I, would, I would have loved or I would love to be friends with her because she is just the nicest, sweetest person. She's just, she's, she's just brilliant. And just watching her vlogs was just like, I couldn't wait every afternoon. I thought, oh, I can't wait to sit down with a cup of tea and watch um, Vlogmas because just so sweet how her and Alfie's family and they all play games and they go to the garden centre and they do a bit of a jigsaw and just really nice. Um, it's really wholesome. I want to say that it's really wholesome. And she just inspires me to just like not compare myself to other people and just be, you know, myself. So yeah, that's one to watch. So, you know, you might have a, a YouTuber that you like to watch. So that's another thing. Okay. I think that's all of it. I can't think of anything else now. I wrote it down, but of course I haven't got my notes with me. Um, also, yeah, knitwear. You know, I love, I love a knitwear. It's, it's, again, it's aesthetics with me. It's what I'm wearing. It's what other people are wearing. It's that kind of comfortable look. When I see people in certain outfits, I think, oh my God, that's lovely. You know what I mean? It's that they are... I don't want to say comfortable so many times, but they are in their own skin, in their own, you know. And I just, I just like that. I like that look. I like that kind of Scandi relaxed jumper look. <laughs> oh dear. So there we go. That's 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 the premise of my video today. <laughs> 
Let me know what you find relaxing. Are you somebody that has like daily rituals of things? Do you like to make things last? Take your time doing things? Do you think about it? When you're making something, do you actually think about, you know, what you're doing? You know, even if somebody says, I'll pop the kettle on, isn't that the most delightful thing for something to say to you? Oh, I'll make you a cup of tea. Do you fancy a brew? It just, you just have to say brew. And I'm like, yes, please. I will never say no to a cup of tea. Never. So there we are. I hope you're well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know um, if you want me to do some other things or any ideas that you have. I have a few ideas that's knocking about, but I don't want to say them and then not do them. So, you know, we go as we mean to go on. Okay. Hope you're all doing well and I'll chat to you soon. Bye.